Hey, what's going on, babies? So this message is for my divine feminines, okay? So I want to see um, what's going on with you guys. What's your energy like for this Saturday? Don't forget, every twin flame is on a different stage of their journey. Also, I want to remind you that you are the twin flame, okay? So this is really about your soul's evolution, becoming one with your soul, okay? Um, and as you are on this journey of healing and um, going through your transformation and discovering your life purpose, um, of course, your divine masculine plays a role because they are the catalyst to your ascensions, okay? They trigger you to awaken to your higher self, right? Um but also, they do play a significant role in your story because a lot of times our divine masculines are our intimate, um, we have intimate relationships with them. Uh, some are platonic, but I have noticed that there's more of a romantic relationship between the twins than it is platonic. But however, um, and I know you guys be wanting to, you know, there's a lot of triggers here. So let's just see what we need, what the message may be in order to ground you for this weekend, okay? Now, um, my goal as, I guess, shoot, I, what I just heard, my spirit team just said, Ascension Coach, <laughs> basically, yep, to help you ascend here on this journey is to help you to face your mirror um, and whatever is triggering you so that you can continue to move forward here on this journey and not get stuck, all right, in the same patterns and mindsets and habits and things like that, which has been the common theme across the uh, collective Um for the closing of this last cycle we just experienced, right? Because the lessons were pretty hard, um, especially because it was about ourselves, <laughs> per se, right? Whatever has been uh, triggering us, whatever we have been holding in, okay? Um, and not really, how can I put it? And not really facing, like we think we facing this stuff, but yeah, uh, the retrogrades literally have been like, ah, here, there you go, take that, take that, right? Um, but I want to put this on pause real quick because my mom is calling. So hold on one second. All right, y'all. So hold up. I stopped at two minutes. Okay, so I got 10. So I got about eight minutes. All right. So what's Divine Feminine's energy? Queen of, look, this is the Queen of Pentacles in traditional tarot. But this is the woman holding a coin in my energy oracle deck. And I'll read that to you. But of course, the Queen of Pentacles is someone who's very, very balanced. Okay. They have a healthy balance between being a nurturer, um, being a boss, um, very stable. Okay. is how I'm seeing it. But when it comes to love, it's just like that door seems like it's completely shut for you. Um, but however, it's like when it comes to everything else you value, I feel like, you know, you are abundant or abundance is literally like coming your way. Okay, because of all of the work that you have been doing on yourself. So to be the queen, um, this woman holding a coin up, right? Or the queen of pentacles up, right? However, um, is really dope. Okay, so it says when this card comes up, right? Um, it may be referring to you directly. So whatever the successful endeavors you are doing is manifesting. Okay, or somebody could be coming into your life. But otherwise, I, I feel like this is very much you, um, Divine Feminine, in this energy. Okay, and then next to that, I got the Sun card that's here. So of course, that's about new beginnings. Okay, um, this is about optimism, your happiness, staying positive. And this is what is so radiant to everyone is how I'm hearing it. Your positivity, okay, your optimism, regardless of what's happening to you in your story, it's like you're still devoted. Your devotion is just like 100%. Like spirit is totally, totally, I'm telling you, and what I just heard is in love with you because of how devoted you are and loyal you are to this journey, okay? So the sun brings blessings, most definitely, all right? And... Um, just as the sun nurtures the earth, bringing new life in the spring and summer, this is your time for a new beginning. The onset of nurturing new light in your life, the light of divine inspiration and personal growth. This is a time of great creativity, bringing the culmination of an important new project, such as, such as the birth of a baby. That has been coming out a whole lot. So I don't know what divine feminists out here getting ready to have some babies, but congratulations because I'm part of the collective and I'm like, shit, I'm 43, okay? <laughs> babies, right. But it just seems like um, Spirit has been talking a lot about birthing either a baby or birthing something new, or this could be the rebirth of you, okay? After a long period of stagnation. And um, 
you got some important projects that are going to be coming through or writing or publication of a book. Um, and it says now is the time to put your energy into expressing your truth and your vision. OK, so visualize the light of divine love pouring into your heart and mind like the ray of the sun, bringing inspiration, growth and abundant blessings. See the future you want to create and know that the sun is shining on your intentions now. OK, so this is a good time for you in manifesting. Keep your vibes high. And even if this door to romance card is in the reverse, I still feel like you're getting this new beginning because right beside it with the world card, this is about expanding. Expanding. This is about making sure that you are staying in expansion mode and not um, being victim, okay, to the old self-limiting beliefs and mindsets and patterns, right? Because the world is your oyster. All you got to do is keep moving forward, okay? Expand your vision and, and contemplate some much broader options. The world is worldwide. 3.30 on my timer. There's a lot out there to consider. And I feel like that's what you're starting to understand. Like, it's more to this. It's not meant for me to be stuck and stagnant. It's more to my life. And there's so much more that I can accomplish here. Even if right now what's happening in my my love story is not moving. Um, I really feel like the divine wants you to be able to be this healthy balance. The queen of pentacles. It's like this is how your spirit team is like rooting for you here to build this legacy for yourself here. Okay, um, so continue to think bigger. Um, some of you need to really utilize uh, the modern age of technology, right? This is going to help you to expand on a global network through the internet or through social marketing or through YouTube, through TikTok. You understand, like how we get up here and we, 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 um, a lot of us readers are, are reading to you your story, but we're also here teaching and trying to guide you, okay? Some of us. All right. Some of us are definitely just here for entertainment and want the drama, but I'm really here to help you to evolve so that you can continue to ascend on your journey. OK, so go to my YouTube, too, because I do extended readings there. Um, it's a little easier for me to be on my YouTube because I don't have to keep stopping the video like, oh, shoot, I hit 10 minutes. Now I got to do a part two. I can just go straight on through. All right. So um, the world is your oyster. Continue to think big. All right. Do not allow fear or anxiety to stop you now. All right. That's just what it is. Don't allow it. If the thought comes in your mind, you got to tell your brain to shut the hell up because you are so very close. OK, um, now let me pull my tarot. Tell me about this daughter romance in the reverse. I don't even want to talk about that story because we ain't we ain't here to uh, be triggered right now. We here to evolve. And to feel great, you know, right in Baltimore right now, it's very cloudy and overcast. So I know that also can affect your mood. So make sure you get out, get like, go to the, if you got a gym, go to the gym. If you got a deck, sit on a deck, plant, exercise, yoga, meditate, do something um, that you love to do. Create something. Okay. I just heard color, paint, sing, dance, whatever it may be. But remain optimistic about your connection because your heart's true desire is on the horizon. So don't allow any self-doubt to come in. I know there's no stagnation. I know there's no movement right now um, with you and your divine masculine here. But this is your journey. This is about your soul's growth. And they got their own mission. All right. They got to fulfill their own story. They got to go through their own transformation. They got to learn their own lessons. OK, so allow them to go through whatever they need to go through to evolve, to be the best versions of themselves, how they seem, how they feel is fit for them. You cannot control what they got going on. You can control you. So continue to love on you and continue to move forward, even if it means that you may have to leave them behind. But it's OK. And you're not really technically leaving them behind. It's just you letting go of a past version of yourself that you're no longer willing to, to live out again anymore. Right. Those those patterns are being stuck or waiting. OK. Spirit does not want you to be in a waiting energy. All right. You do not have to compromise your own integrity to get what you want. You assert yourself accordingly, okay? If this does not work for you, you have to stand in your integrity. It's not working for me. I got to keep moving ahead, okay? It's not working for me. The stagnation, the lack of time, the lack of effort, it's not working for me. I got to keep moving ahead. There's so much more, 717 on a time. Right? That's out there for me. Even if it lands you into another situation, but you know, that it usually doesn't work. All right. I mean, I'm just saying because it's not, 
unless you run into a, like, a higher level soulmate but then the divine masculine is still all up in your brain space okay but however you um work on your healing okay so go within because your angels have a very special message that they want to share with you 1000 on that card pay attention to the number of synchronicities okay so show me what i need to see here to close out and commit to being the best version of yourself so and enjoy the positive impact it's having on your connection that's all you gotta do keep rising empresses okay as you rise so does the divine masculine so remember that all right you hold the key Peace.